see. All right, uh, enabling ankles. What time? Quarter three. Enabling motors. Yeah. So my name is Peter okay. Newhouse. I'm a senior research scientist at IHMC, and I work on exoskeletons. We've developed the X1 robotic exoskeleton in conjunction with NASA Johnson Space Center. The X1 has power joints at the hips and the knees, but the ankles are fixed, meaning there's no assistance. And we know that the ankles are an important joint in walking. They provide a good amount of force during toe off. It helps you generate dynamic walks. Yesterday, we tested out adding powered ankles to our X1 mobility assistance platform. So the powered ankle has been in development for about a year and a half. We've done ankle exercise and ankle dynamometry with the ankle joint itself and this is the first time we've now added it to our X1 platform. So our first test with the powered ankle and X1 combination was with an able-bodied person and we're evaluating our software and hardware and seeing that they all work in conjunction with each other. So the testing was not looking for quantifiable data, it was more making sure that software and hardware work together and asking the user how it felt having the assistance of a powered ankle. The user walked in a straight line with uh, the X1 and the ankles powered and then we turned off the power to the ankles and compared the two. And the user reported that it felt more stable, it was easier to balance and uh, felt like the ankles were propelling them forward when they were in the powered on mode. So this test is encouraging and it uh, reveals that adding a powered ankle to the exoskeleton does work and we're encouraged by the users reporting that it felt like the ankles were propelling them forward. Our next step is to do testing with a person who has a spinal cord injury and is paralyzed.